I am robotic to nature. When I'm in nature, I feel a sense of connect, relief, fortune. I don't know why, but when I'm in nature, I feel like I'm escaping the city in the real world. I feel like I'm using it for time to heal and reflect for myself as if nature was my therapy. When I'm away from the city in the world, I feel co more connected to the earth and to myself. I let go of the worst and worry that I experience on a normal basis. Something about the peace and quietness that nature gives us is so peaceful and captivating that it's my theoretic medicine. I can hear nothing but the birds and nature calling. I can feel the air hitting my skin as a fresh breeze enters through my nose. I can feel the positive energy that comes from standing in between the world's beautiful creations as time seems to be in pause. I can feel myself healing and reflecting everything that has been going on in the last past couple of months and weeks. As my feet touch the ground and roots of earth, and my body letting go of all the bad energy that has surpassed me over the last months, I can feel like I have connected my spirit to what seems to me as God in nature. During this pandemic, I have experienced several anxiety and panic attacks over the stress and unknown that has kept us in quarantine and isolation over the last six months. After feeling so isolated from the world shutting down, I let my inner self connect with nature as a theoretic medicine. Over the last couple of months during quarantine, I would spend my evenings and mornings taking walks and hikes to distress myself and use it tonight to reflect with myself. Even just going to the park and sitting underneath a tree helped with my feelings of lost control. I always loved nature in the outdoors, but something about myself connecting to nature in a more spiritual level has made me become a new person. It has made me appreciate Earth's beauty and how precious nature is. How precious it is that we yet have not appreciated it as much as we should, nor take care of it and leave it to burn away. But that's for a different story another time.